All right, guys, today I'm going to do a review of the Harbor Freight Dual Action Polisher. This is their 5.7 amp, um, 6 inch variable speed polisher. Uh, so, yeah, let's get right in. So, when you get the box, uh, what you're going to get, you're going to get your polisher. You're going to get a handle that screws into the side up here. I don't ever use this. I don't, you know, I'm more of a kind of like my hand to be able to press down on the top of the pad rather than off to the side. Uh, you also get some uh, spare brushes for the motor. You get the tool that will lock up on here in order to change out the backing pads. And then of course you get your Bauer backing pad. Now, I switched this out pretty much immediately after I got it. Reason being is that this foam that the backing pad is made out of has a lot of give to it. Um, it's pretty squishy. Um, and that might be good, I guess, if you're trying to do some like complex surfaces, something like that, you got some little crevices. Personally, I would rather just switch to a smaller pad and then you don't have to worry about it or worry about this, you know, hitting the edge of your paint, something like that. So, um, I will say I swapped it out with a Lake Country backing pad. They look almost identical. This one costs about 20 bucks on Amazon, um, which I'll put a link to in the description. But overall, they're actually pretty similar. The, they have an identical felt washer that goes up against that. Um, uh, the Bauer backing pad has a little bit more steel where the rivets go through. Um, but the main difference for me and the reason I swapped it out, this one has a lot less give to it. And it has a, uh, I guess, a thicker plastic piece right here. So, um, Less give, uh, when I bought my first one, this is actually my second one, I had an instance where this was kind of giving a lot. I was going over a bunch of complex surfaces and it actually slung the pad right off. Uh, not a big fan of that. So again, I pretty much immediately swapped that out. So some of the things on this polisher, uh, you get you know, your locking on off switch. Um, you have your variable speed settings. So you can go from speed one all the way up to six. Um, pretty good. I have yet to do a job, again, being a detail hobbyist, I'm not doing this for a living, but I have yet to find a job that this hasn't been able to get me through. So a uh, couple of the drawbacks that I have with this is one, when you uh, need to swap out your pads, if you don't have this tool, you are kind of screwed because this little clearance cut that they made for it is super, super thin. Um, so when you have this up in here, as you can kind of see it there, you have very, very little gap between, I don't know if I got this in the camera right, but you have very little gap between the top of this edge and this. So you have to have this tool, do not lose it, or you'll be needing another one. Um, the cool thing that I like about this one, I actually prefer this one over the bigger version that they sell, uh, which is like $150 or something like that. I prefer this one for two reasons. One, because it's shorter, so I can, you know, I can almost one-hand it for some jobs. And then two, because this head right here is a lot smaller. So again, they, this comes with a six inch backing pad, but I often switch it over to a three inch backing pad. This is also a Lake Country, a uh, little three inch backing pad. Um, I can post a link for this one as well. But this, is really nice because I can switch back and forth between six inch and three inch just based on how much surface area and you know the tightness of everything. Um, and I can't do that on one of the bigger polishers. Uh, so I would end up having to get a bigger one and something like this if that was what I was gonna do. But this one is kind of dual purpose for me. And again, I'm a detail hobbyist, so that's, uh, that's kind of what I'm using it for anyway. Uh, the other reason, or the other drawback that I have with this is these little replacement brushes that it comes with. In order to change those out, you actually have to take all of this stuff on top apart because the motor is right back in here in the handle. So um, unlike some of the rigid tools or something like that, uh, you have to slide this whole cover off in order to change out those brushes. So kind of an inconvenience. Uh, I last, the last one I had, like I said, I had it for about three years before I got this one um, because it actually got stolen. Uh, but I never had any issues with the brushes going out. So um, 
yeah, pretty good. It does have a 10 foot cord on the back of it, so that makes it kind of nice because then you can, you know, don't have to use as much extension cords or whatever. And uh, yeah, so let me let me turn it on here. Let me throw a pad on. I guess I'll just give you a little run up, see what it sounds like. Um, do that. So. go. All right, so I'm gonna start this at speed setting one. You can kind of see it. The, uh, for those that don't know about the dual action versus the uh, rotary, the, the thing with dual action is that it's rotating while it's rotating, if that makes sense. So it's kind of orbiting while it's orbiting. Um, so it's actually a very random pattern. It can kind of sling out this way or this way or, you know, uh, whereas a rotary is basically just like a grinder with a polishing wheel and it just spins in one direction around one uh, shaft. So anyway, that's your little, little tech tip there. So we're gonna start it up. One. That, uh, I don't know if you guys can tell, but it actually is pretty torquey for a little small uh, Harbor Freight uh, polisher. And the total damage for this polisher, I got it with a coupon, I think. Let's see. Yeah, so I paid $86.58 for this thing. So if you think about it, you could buy three or four of these for the price of one of the chemical guys ones. So that's the other kind of appealing thing to me. Um, I have a buddy that uses the chemical guys torque polishers and um, the uh, customer service was a little difficult. It was hard to find parts because it's all made in China anyway. Um, so that's kind of my honest review. I would say I will probably keep buying these as long as they make them. And if you're a detail, um, if you're a, a part-time detail or do you just do detailing as a hobby this is a very solid option um, and I would definitely recommend it to anyone but again I would swap out the backing pad um, and that's about it so let me know what you guys think in the comments um, if you want to subscribe to the channel I'm gonna try to bring the channel back up a little bit do a little more reviews maybe some more detail stuff some more auto repair work and whatnot so um, anyway, thanks for watching.